Hey you guys, what's going on? It's Aimbot Remix. I'm the leader of uh, Tasty GFX community and this is going to be the first of hopefully many tutorials for Cinema 4D. So I've had a lot of people ask me how to use Throwsy, which is uh, probably one of the most used uh, plugins I would say in uh, all of um, in all of uh, Cinema 4D. So I'm going to open up Let's see, a template that I've made. There we go with some nice text. And the uh, first thing I would do is go ahead and bring up a null. And uh, for the sake of this tutorial, I'm only going to throw you the first layer, which is the one you're, you're always going to see. Then you're going to go to MoGraph, Effector, Random. And now you want to put that into the null as well, so that it only affects the first layer. You want to go to Deformer, turn that into Point and you're going to see it's going to look a bit crazy now but then you just turn down the strength and the fall off until you know it depends how much you want it I usually keep it quite low just to give it a nice kind of wrinkle uh, along the um, along the curves but you can you can definitely experiment with this and uh, you know depending on on how much you want it uh, you know you can adjust it Next thing is now I'm going to use Throwsy, so I'm, I can leave it like this and then I go straight to plugins, Throwsy, and Throwsy, and then what I usually do is I usually use between 10 and 30, so I'm just going to go with 15. So it's going to break just the first layer and it's going to break each individual letter into 15 different pieces, which will then, uh, as you'll see once this finishes, It'll then uh, apply to the random, which I placed before. So then put that straight into the null again and see it re-adds the, the broken effect that we did before. Then we reselect all these layers and, and put another random, which this is for all the different pieces. So this is going to be like a second, uh, a second layer of, I would say, almost destruction. So then at this point, you can uh, adjust this one as well. To just as much as you want as you can see it's no longer just the, the wrinkles along the, the sides but this actually breaks breaks the layer apart so let's say I want it to be this much and the fall off I like it like that then let's see how it looks I'm just gonna go right here just to do a quick area and uh, basically what it, what it does when you put it into a null it's like a group so then what it does is everything you put into this group applies only to that so it goes really nicely and um, so I'm gonna render this text out and I'll be right back so this is the fully rendered image I took off some settings just so it would render quickly but this is pretty much what it would look like it has an orange um, when, so when I use the throwsy it has an orange on the background because when I originally look if I show you if I just go back with some of my steps the original text had an orange material at the very bottom so make sure that if you want a certain color to be shown up as your broken uh, as your broken text for example you want a blue you want to put that oh wait I'm, I'm sorry excuse me right you want to put that before the uh, the material that's in that, that like the one that's displayed and so when you break it using Throwsy, it'll come up as the as the broken pieces. So another, let's see, I can just go like this. Break this quickly. And it'll uh, see, and it already has the blue pieces coming out. So this is the first tutorial for this channel. I hope you guys like it. Please leave a like. Uh, and, uh, you know, let me know in the comment section what you guys want to find out about Cinema 4D, and hopefully I'll record it, and, uh, even Photoshop, any questions you guys might have, I'll try to answer them the best I can. Once we hit 250 subscribers, I will be releasing a GFX pack, which me and SickPix will be assembling, uh, so just uh, get ready for that, since this channel is growing quite quickly. Thanks again and see you guys.